So in the last video, I showed you how we can plot our data and plot our style ellipses and complex holes so we can sort of judge whether and visualize whether these um, gastro niches of these different populations or communities differ. But it'd be nice to sort of see whether they occupy different space and whether they have uh, different areas. So that's what we're going to be going through in this video. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to quickly run my code that I used in the first video um, so we can catch up with that. So. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to fit the Bayesian uh, models so that we can go through with this. This is the number of iterations to run the model for. We're going to discard the first set of values. And the posterior value of money. Run this many chains. Next, we're going to define the priors. Hello, buddy. So now that we have defined the priors and the paths, we're going to fit the ellipses using the JAX method. So the first thing to do is make sure that you've got JAX loaded. So, So now that's that done, um, use Put in the palms and the priors that we just did. Now we can um, extract the posterior means. So we're going to look at the Bayesian estimates and uh, style ellipse areas to so determine whether they disappear in areas of basically in that first example visualization how much space they occupy um, in the data. So I'd like to mention that apologize. I'm 
just have a quick look at that. Right. So here you can see these are all the estimates. Um, and these are for each of the populations. You can see um, population two and four have much smaller um, estimates for the side lips area than the other ones. So um, we've been asked to visualize this so we can create a density plot. So There we go. So this is the area of the complex hole. This is the uh, standard ellipse area, ellipses area, sorry. And this is the standard um, ellipses area corrected for small sample size. So you can record these, but again, we can also plot them. So I'm going to use cyber density plot in our estimates there. So here you can see our plot representing everything that um, we created for now with the um, complex hole area, the sample cell, etc. So we can just quickly just adjust the, uh, the axis size to make that a little bit better. It's a little bit squished at the moment. the plot there. Uh, we can definitely see that um, community one, population one, and uh, community two, population three have much larger areas than the others. So uh, we can also add some red X's for the um, cell ellipses are character for some size. So if we just quickly And then you can see we've got red axis there, representing the um, small sample size corrected standard of these area. So this has shown that yes, these two do have um, differing um, larger sizes in the other ones for the standard of these area, but we can't see like where they differ in terms of the axes that we have. So next time we'll be going through how you can determine whether they differ in space as well as area.